Hi, George from Premier Guns here. Today we're going to be talking about these chokes. First of all with chokes you need to make sure you've got the right choke for your gun, as in the thread type. If they're not the right threads they'll potentially bulge your barrels or blow the chokes out resulting in damage and expense. When you bought your gun from a dealer or a private seller they should have come with some form of choke. Some guns don't actually come with these at all, they're fixed. This means you can't actually can change the constriction of the choke unless you have it bored out or have it made multi-choke by having it threaded by a reputable company. A lot of companies are swaying away from fixed choked guns now due to the fact that there's steel shots coming in. This is a choke gauge. If you have a fixed choke gun, this gauge can tell you what choke is your gun is at. This can't be used with multi-choke guns because it doesn't give an accurate reading. The great thing about multi-choke guns is the flexibility to put what choke you think the discipline or target needs. Here's your basic extended choke. These are your threads that must always be kept clean and the ones inside the gun. Here in the midsection, it'll usually tell you the make of the choke, what the constriction is and what thread type it's for. This being an extended choke, it's got the extra extended knurl, which is designed to get better grip to take it out from stand to stand. A lot of people like to change their chokes from stand to stand, depending on what the target is going to be. On the screen at the minute is a chart explaining the main six constrictions that you will run into. There are other constrictions, but for now, with this being a basic guide, this will help you a lot. This guide explains the percentage of shot pattern at different yards per constriction of choke. So now I'm going to list the constrictions for what discipline most people use them for. Cylinder, which is bore, a lot of people, some people use it on skeet, not very popular really cylinder isn't. Then you've got the skeet choke, which again is a bit tighter than cylinder, which people use on skeet. Quarter is your next choke, which is very popular for skeet, sporting and other disciplines. It's a very safe choke, a lot of people use it. The same with the next choke, half. A lot of people use half as well as a combination with quarter. Half's a bit tighter, gives a bit tighter pattern, greater for longer, longer targets, further away targets. In between, in between quarter and half, you have then got three eighths. Three eighths is there if you don't want something as tight as half or as open as quarter. Five eighths is the next one above half, which is getting to be a very popular choke. It's in between three quarter, which is a lot tighter, and half. So after five eighths, then you've got three quarter. Three quarter really is a lot tighter. Not a lot of people use that for sporting. It's more used in trap shooting and disciplines where you need a lot more reach, such as even game shooting. After three quarter, you've got seven eighths. Seven eighths isn't really a very popular choke. We don't really see it here very often. Again, it's not as tight as full, but it's tighter than three quarter. The only times I've ever really seen it used is in game shooting. And after that, you've got full. Full is again, a very tight choke. Again, really used for game shooting and trap shooting and other disciplines, but not so much in the sporting scene. After full, you've got things like extra full. Extra full isn't very popular. We don't see it here a lot. A lot of brownings come with extra full as an option, like the XS Pro, but it isn't a really very popular choke. Everything I've just mentioned above half, when steel shot comes, will not be an option anymore. The one exception to the rule is the American made Muller choke. This choke can be used in tighter constrictions than half with steel shot. Here's a bit more on Muller chokes. Okay. Obviously the gun you're shooting has to be steel shot proofed. The Waterfowl H2O choke. These are the only chokes in the world that you can shoot steel through full choke. In fact, extra full choke. There's a lot in this video that I haven't covered about chokes. If there's any questions you have at all, please drop them down in the comment section below so we can answer them. Or alternatively, you can call the shop, which the number will be in the description box below. Ultimately with chokes and constrictions, a lot of it depends on the particular gun and the shot and cartridges that you use. Pattern plates are a good way to test this. You've just got to try what's best for you by trying different chokes, different cartridges in, in your gun to see what shoots best for you. If you're looking for more information on the Muller chokes in particular, we have another video coming out which is going to explain them all in its entirety. Thanks for watching, I've been George at Premier Guns. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next one.